This is a continuation of our previous lesson on polynomial vocabulary. There was one more thing that we learned, but I wanted to make it a separate video because it's very important, and that's writing a polynomial in standard form. Polynomials should always be written in standard form, so it's important to understand what that is. Um, it's something that we naturally write it this way once you're comfortable with it. It's just going to take a little bit of practice to really get used to it. So another way to think of standard form is to think of it as descending order. It's when the degrees essentially go from largest to smallest. So our steps and I would take note on this. The first thing we're going to do if, is choose one of the variables if more than one is present. This means This means that if we had something like 5xyz plus 2x squared y, you have to pick one of those variables to put in order. We tend to pick x if x is offered, but um, I would just go with alphabetically whichever letter comes first, unless the directions tell you specifically to pick a variable. But if x is given and they don't tell you, pick x. Step two you're going to change all subtraction signs to addition. Remember, we said that subtraction is adding a negative number. This will make your life easier and you won't forget the negative if you change all subtractions to adding a negative number. Finally, you're going to rearrange the terms. Starting with the term, that has the highest power. And then write in order until the term that has the least power. So rearrange the terms starting with the term that has the highest power to the lowest power. And this will be done using the variable that you chose. So the best way to look at this is to look at an example, which we're going to look at at the next slide. All right, we're given 4x squared z plus 7x cubed z plus 13x to the fifth y to the second z minus 17x to the fourth y plus 4. It's very complicated. We want to put it in descending order. Decreasing, descending order. We want to put it in standard form. So first of all, I'm going to choose this in terms of the variable x. So I want to put it in standard form based on x. Okay, that means I'm looking at the x's of each one of these, each one of these terms. So here we have 2, this one, second one we have 3, we have a degree of 5 for the third one, 4 for the second one, and 0 for the last one. Now remember, step 2, I want to change all of my subtraction signs to addition signs. I only have one subtraction sign and it's right here. So I'm going to change this to the addition of a negative 17 x to the fourth y. And then finally, I'm going to put them in order from highest power to lowest power. So my highest power is here with the 5. So that's going to be written first. 13 x to the fifth y squared z. 
My next one after 5 is 4. But remember, it's adding a negative, so I can subtract 17x to the 4th y. This is just to allow us to not forget that that subtraction sign goes with the 17. Afterwards comes the 3, so plus 7x cubed c, then plus 4x squared c, and finally plus 4. So if we look at this, our degrees in terms of x goes 5, 4, 3, 2, 0. This is order from largest to smallest, and this is standard form. Now I want you to pause the video and try to answer these two questions by arranging the following in decreasing order. A lot of times, excuse me, you're going to see standard form. It's important that you understand standard form is decreasing order. All right, so pause the video and try these. All right, we're going to go through each problem one by one. Looking at this example, I only have the variable n, so I'm putting it in standard form based off of n. First thing I want to do, I'm going to change all subtraction signs to adding a negative number. So I'm adding negative 3n to the 8th, I'm adding negative 5n squared, and I'm adding a negative 8. Then I'm going to put them in order from greatest to least. Here we have 5, 8, 1, 2, and 0. So naturally, 8 comes first. So negative 3n to the 8th, and then plus 5n to the 5th, followed by with negative 5n squared, plus 4n, minus 8. Notice that I'm not writing plus a negative when I have this negative 5n squared and negative 8. I'm not writing plus negative 5n squared. This is redundant. I don't like to see this. Positive and a negative make a minus, so please put minus 5n squared, minus 8. The other example, we had three different variables. Remember I said choose in terms of x, so I'm going to look at all of my x's, and then I'm going to change my subtraction signs to plus a negative, and that's my only one. So now I'm going to put them in order from least to, or greatest to least, excuse me. So here we have 1, 3, 2, and 5. So naturally, my 5 is going to come first. So 15x to the 5th, y squared, z squared. Then my 3, so plus 11x cubed, y, z to the 8th, followed by negative 7x squared, y squared, z cubed, followed by last, plus 9x, y, z. When we look at this, we see we have 5, 3, 2, 1. So we've done it correctly. And that's putting these in standard form. Remember, as I said, it's very important that you understand how to do this. So you need to remember that standard form is decreasing or descending order.